Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another Unity Asset Store quick playthrough. It is May Madness and I'm playing with Unka the Dragon from Malva's Animation. He retails at $50 but because of May Madness he's on a 50% sale. 50% off that means $25 for Unka the Dragon. Yes we can do our maths. Splishy splash. I'm also playing with Malva's Horse Animset Pro and that is so we can ride our magic dragon. That's right, we're going to ride our dragon. And hopefully, we're going to have some fun firing magic fireballs. Can I do my fireball while I'm in the water? No, I can't. Look at him. Rawr. He's, a, he's an angry fellow. There's four different dragons in this pack to choose from. And I'll be giving away a copy of Unka the Dragon. You're going to have to watch these videos to find out how you can win a copy. Now, we're also going to be streaming tonight on all the w's.twitch.tv slash the messy coda. It is May the 4th Friday at the time of recording this. So that means all you Jedis out there are in for a treat. We've got Jason Booth, the legend himself, the shader master extraordinaire, man behind Microsplat, Megasplat, co-author of Cascade, the River System. Yeah, he's the fellow who, whenever you go to Unite Conference, he's standing up there talking to you all about shaders and about graphics in Unity. Now, 2018 Unity is coming out. Uh, point one is currently the risk police candidate, and there's a lot of changes that are coming. And Jason will be telling us about these changes, how they impact devs, how they impact us end users, and if Unity is going to be the unreal killer that we all know one day it could be. So sit back, enjoy. I'll see you all tonight as well. But for now, let's have a play with Unka the Magic Dragon. And just before we start, I want to let you know we're giving away a copy of Unka the Dragon. And I'm going to tell you how you can win a copy later on in this video. Here we are inside Unity. I've imported in the Malba's Horse Animset Pro so we can ride our dragon. And that retails at $60 and it's currently on the Maid Madness 30% off $42. You can ride any animal really. They've given you tutorials on their website on how you can make any animal rideable and They've done it with their own dragon, Unka the Dragon. And here I've imported Unka the Dragon. Retails $50, currently 50% off. Made man the sale, that's a massive saving. And it's only $25. And if we go in, and I've also put the post-processing back in there, just in case I wanted to do anything with it. I don't think I'm gonna. So let's go to the demo scenes. We've got AI sample. Let's load up the AI sample first of all. All right, let's click play. There's Unka. Oh. Here's this little dragon. He's going to go and get this ball, I reckon. Oh, look at that. It takes off lands. Bit of a skid there. And he goes for his ball. Interesting. Let's... Let's move that ball. Alright, so here's the ball. Oops. Move the table. Um, why can't I pick up the ball? Target. Here we go. Let's move this... Here? Right on the edge. Let's see. Here he comes. And he's going to get the ball. Lovely. Beautiful little AI. That is very pretty. Here you've got the nav mesh link between the two so he can jump. That is nice. That is nice. Let's check out um, our blend shapes demo scene. Okie dokie. Let's click play. What do we get? Oh, we get one, two, three, four dragons. The controls, if you've ever played with the Horse Anima Set Pro, you'll recognize the one, two, three for different speeds. Um, okay, we can move. T to change target. Nice. Hello. Different dragons we've got here. That's a big one. Cool, look at the size of that one. And you've got Spyro the Dragon there and a Poly Dragon. So here's Spyro the Dragon. Can trot. Uh, let's go to number two. Number three is run. Oh, that's pretty. Let's go and get some water. I know what you're waiting for. You're waiting for me to fly, aren't you? Let's do a space. That's a jump. And let's dive in the water. Lovely. He's swimming. He's having a swim. Oh, look at that big pink missing material. Oh, look at that. It's naughty. So here we go. Swimming. 
Let's have a look at the legs. See, the legs look pretty. Can we jump? Can we dive? What if we can dive? So, C. Oh, yeah, you can. You can dive. It's got swimming down. Swimming under the water. Can we go up? Space. Yep. And there he goes. That is quite pretty. That is quite pretty indeed. Right, let's get out of here. I can't fly from inside water. Q's to fly. Q. Fly while jumping. There you go. Space makes him go up. And C makes him go down. I like how he glides his wings down. And uh, we touch down. And a little bit of a skid. And I like that little idle. Now, left is fireballs. Uh, left shift. And left click. Oh, oh, that's dangerous. Aim. I can't. I can't seem to aim very well. I need to moving left and right on my keyboard, the D and the A keys, to aim my head. But I can't aim it up or down. And I can't aim. Oh, there we go. Am I aiming up and down? No. It's just yeah. It's a, the aiming is not fantastic. Not fantastic at all. All right, we've got M middle click, right click. Oh, munching on him. Slap. I cycle through my different weapons with the, with the right click. Slap. Oh, tail slap. Munch. Lovely. Alright, what does K die? No, no one's died. I've clicked K, nothing's happened. Maybe I got a put it put a little curse on him. K. K. Nope, K doesn't do anything. H damaged. Oh, he got hurt. H works. But die doesn't actually seem to do anything. Right, let's change the dragon. Let's take off. So I can fire fireballs while I'm flying. And it seems to be firing where this yellow dot is sometimes. No, he's not turning his head to fire it. It's just firing straight. I got excited for a moment. I thought it was aiming at the yellow dot, but it's not. It's not aiming at the yellow dot. If I hold down shift, I'm gliding. That's interesting. I thought shift would make me go faster. So yeah, shift is gliding. Three, two, three and two. There is no trot and, walk and run as a dragon in the air. So I'm just gliding. But if I go back to one, Walk, I can flap my wings. Okay, interesting. E is action. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I like this hovering. Alright. That's an interesting set. It's an interesting set indeed. I like. Let's just go see if we can push Q, does he? And. Oh, there you go. Q just goes straight down and lands. So I do like this. It reminds me a lot. It's a better animation set than the horse he's made. Because the horse um, run is bugged. I don't really like it. That skid. Right, that skid look, you know, that's intentional. Because as you are flying down, you'll have, you have some momentum to you. Right, let's land. Now let's jump off here into the water. Right, three. One fast. And jump. Let's see. Into the water. Splash. Here we are. In the little swimming pool. That was a nice little jump in there. It's a shame about this. That's only a demo scene. And it can speed up. If we're from shift and I'm like a snake in the water. That's a nice touch. How he swims like a snake. Or like a crocodile. This is odd. Now I'm walking under the... Oh, that's that's odd. Now I'm flying and walking. Hasn't registered that I'm under the water. Hmm. That's a little bit of a bug. That's a weird bug. Thought that I wasn't in water. Didn't hit the trigger. Interesting. All right. Let's check out another demo scene. It's very beautiful. Unca function calling. Let's try that one. This is a very beautiful pack. It's very beautiful. Oh, here we go. Uh, attack one. Now we can see where everything is. Uh, snap, snap. Attack two. 
Rah. Attack three. Rah, give me that. Attack four. Oh, I'm going to punch your head off. Attack five. Slap. Attack six. Oh, I'm going to eat you all up. Seven. Smack with my tail. Eight. Smack that way. Nine. Oh, poke with the... Oh, a little bit of poke. And a poke, yeah. Poke on the other side. And a... Oh, a wind, wing slap, that is. Slap you. And 12. Didn't realise there's so many attacks. A big slap. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of slaps. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh. Particle effect of the fire could be nicer. Change eyes. It's pretty. Change skin. It's just colour changes. That's pretty. Fly. Flap. 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 Down. Down. Oh, that's what that down was. The down was to go up and down in the air. Ah, uh, you see, I just wasn't doing it right. Jump. What does this do? Use him forward. Fireball. Oh, okay, so fly, down, jump, 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 poke, 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 down, 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 jump, 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 fly, and down, trot, trot in, I am trotting, running, I am, oh, that little skid there. That's quite pretty. Sleep. Go to sleep, dragon. This is my gold. It's a dragon, not a wyvern. I thought it was in your wyvern in the Hobbit. Yeah, because wyverns have got their arms into their wings. Whereas dragons' arms and legs are separate to their wings. As everyone knows. Well, that's pretty. But what I really want to do... What I really want to do is ride a dragon. And here's my little horsey. Here's my dragon. Let's ride on our dragon. Let's jump on him. Okay. Here's our dragon. That water's looking even worse than before. Um, there seems to be something stopping me from moving. Right, I'm back. I had a word with Melba's and the solution to this problem is quite easy. We delete that dragon and we drop in a new one. Now right, here we go, let's get on our horsey, or on our dragon rather, or our horsey. And now we can move freely, nicely. Oh, that's nice. And he controls movies his head. Very pretty dragon. He is a very pretty dragon. Oh wow, this is a very pretty dragon, We've got jump, there's a upwards just as up jump, there's a forwards jump, is there a backwards jump, no there's no backwards jump, what does E do, oh now I've got my, I've got my bow out, what was that game, that old Turok dragon dinosaur hunter or something, uh, we're now the dragon hunter. Well, look at that. Beautiful. Let's, should we fly? Yeah, let's do it. So now our man can ride. It's got to hurt his legs. I have to say, he could do with a saddle because that's that does not look comfortable at all. Wow, it's going to hurt him after a while being in that position for too long. So he nearly needs a saddle on this dragon. Let's glide down. Oh! I can't fire while I'm gliding. Oh, I can't fire while I'm riding at all. That's odd. So I can't, I can't. Is it because I've got my uh, my bow out? Um, how do I put the bow away? Okay. Put the bow away. Nope, it's taken out a different weapon. So, taking out a different weapon. How do we put all these things away? Okay, let's put them all away. And now, Ah, okay, now I can use my flaming fireballs to my heart's content. Look at that, collided and now he landed. That's nice. So you can't fire 
flying balls or pre-fire if your rider has got a weapon out because it's assuming that you want to fire from your your pilot your rider well I wonder if we can kill that horsey should we try it well these flames don't do any damage to that poor little horsey that's impressive there we go come on horsey I want to cook you for breakfast we'll have to put the script that in ourselves I suppose put some damage on this flames well you can win a copy of Unka the Dragon so you can sit and learn how to add damage on flame yourself quite easily all you need to do is tune in on Friday stream on Twitch or the w's.twitch.tv slash the messy coder starts at 9 p.m. UK time that's British summer time at the moment or 4 p.m. Eastern time that's 3 p.m. Central time or 1 p.m. Pacific time um, Wow this is fantastic and we're also not only giving away Unka the Dragon I'll be interviewing Jason Booth you might have heard the name Jason Booth well I'm sure you've heard of Micro Splat and Mega Splat he is the Unity Shader legend who actually does a lot of talks at the Unite um, events. He does lectures on shaders, on Unity shaders, how to make your own shaders. He teaches. He's basically the Unity Shader guru. And he's going to be talking to us about his Micro Splat, Mega Splat. He's going to be talking about what's happening with Unity 2018, that um, lightweight render pipeline, that high definition one. That's all. Basically, what we can expect, how that's going to impact um, our developers and end users, how Unity 2018 is going to impact us in other ways. Is this going to be the Unreal Killer that we hope one day Unity was going to be? Well, we're going to find out today. So I'll see you all on tonight's stream. Well, tonight for me, this afternoon for you, um, or even later in the morning for some of my friends over in New Zealand or Australia. Alright guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, your neighbours, that the Messy Coda is doing fantastic interview on Twitch tonight. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Until next time.